Uh, I, I also want to get to the side of if you are a real estate investor and you're buying, let's say, lower priced homes and you want to be able to maximize your investment return, a great way to do it is to sell that property with owner financing. And that way you make income on the financing as well as uh, money on the, the, the sale of the property. Mm -hmm. Uh, my, my question would be, over the time span that you've been doing this, have you noticed an uptick or downtick with, as, as you know, Bill pointed out, difference in rates mm -hmm. on the conventional side? So when rates rise on the conventional side, does seller financing rise as well? Does it follow that or is there some other mechanism that it follows? That is a great question. And yes, it actually follows that mortgage availability index chart. Mm -hmm. if, you, yeah. if you research for that, that they, they published the mortgage, uh, uh, mortgage affordability index. And that we see when there's more restrictive underwriting or it's harder to qualify because rates go up and your payment goes up. So it becomes a bigger piece of your income. Any time that happens, when you, we look at the number of notes created, that tends to go up when, when that availability goes down. Yeah. What what are you seeing the seller finance rates come in at now? <laughs> Everywhere, Wendy. It I is. Mean, Isn't like, it crazy? Yes. I mean, I'll see a note that a mom and pop seller created that didn't know any better that charged zero. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. How can they sell that? How can you sell that? Well, they can sell it, but it's a big old discount. Normally on those, we if we want to get an eight or nine percent return or ten percent return, we have to put it in our financial calculator and do a present value time value of money calculation at that rate. It's a big discount. So a lot of times we'll do a partial for them where we'll just buy maybe the next five years of payments. So that discount on that, those payments way out in the future, don't hurt them. So on the other side of the coin, you know, we'll see them that are in the 9% range. Obviously if they're writing them at nine, nine and a half, they are a much better resale value if they do decide to sell. It's better for the holder of the note because they're getting that interest income. I would say the most average we see is probably in that 4 to 5% range. Yeah. I, I